Good day to you one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Today, for the second time, I'm covering Bring Me the Horizon. And they've got a song called Amen featuring Lil Uzi Vert. And Vert, of course, is the French word for green. Um, Daryl Palumbo and Glass Jaw. Um, the song came out on uh, the 23rd of June. So it's time for me to react to it. I got my guitar this time, don't worry. Justin Hawkins rides again. Again. So yes, it's time again to react to a new Bring Me The Horizon song. I think I, when I, I, I covered them when I first started this channel, but I did seem to upset quite a few Bring Me The Horizon fans because I said they're a good they're good pop writers um, and I complimented their outfits I mean I, I said a lot of positive stuff but I think the word pop is definitely like a, it's a three letter word that lands like a four letter word in some ways um, and I, you know I meant no disrespect I, I really respect uh, I really respect uh, Bring Me The Horizon I think they've achieved amazing things um, for those unaware Bring Me The Horizon are a British rock band and they formed in 2004 in Sheffield they are known for mixing genres and the band has shifted its style and moved into a more sort of melodically orientated uh, sorry oriented god that was an Englishism um, direction by combining their approach to metalcore with elements of electronica, pop and hip hop. Three of my favourite things. Um, they've recently announced a brand new studio album, Post Human Next Gen, um, due for release on September the 15th. I'm going to read a couple of the comments that were on their video. Uh, just to give you some context, uh, Niemand3138 said, The music video is disturbing and crazy, and I absolutely love it. 90s horror movie vibes, I love it already. 90s horror movies, you're talking about Scream, I Know What You Did Last Summer, oh, brilliant stuff. Um, I hope the other songs on the out, and final destination or was that noughties uh, who knows um i hope the other songs on the album will have this vibe i'm excited for this new era and then gary just said they are seriously decades ahead of everyone else they surpassed the genres and now offer something much more universal uh un musical experience ollie is a genius i actually listened to um bring me the horizon live last year we played a, a festival in norway somewhere and they were they were on the other stage Kicking ass. They were really good. Um, so anyway, I'm going to click on this video and uh, let you know what I think of it. Okay. Here we go. A guided instructional video. Now I see the horror movie they're talking about. So There was a little trend, wasn't there, for a moment where there was sort of found footage horror movies. Things like, I suppose, the first Cloverfield. Um... And then there was, uh, well, before that, I think it was the Blair Witch Project. That's what this looks like. A little bit of um, The Grudge, or the other one, The Ring, The Eyeball, all these brilliant movies. I hope you have fun. Wow. I really wasn't prepared for that. I, I imagined that they'd begin with the sort of melodic uh, electronical stuff and then hit you with something loud and powerful, but just straight in with a scream. That's called vocal fry from what I can gather. It's not something I can do without destroying my voice. This is so extreme. I love it. It already sounds like... Um, that was a period of Nine Inch Nails when he was really pushing it and then everything was sort of limited at the very maximum volume you can get out of a CD. This is fucking exciting. Really, really loud and cool. There's a cool chord sequence there. when it goes to that that's pretty <laughs> it's played f***ing loud and it's really really in your face but that chord there just makes it interesting I, I do think these are good these are really good songwriters I mean this is what I was trying to put across before I might have said it in a so slightly disparaging way because I didn't really appreciate the sort of you know the electronic elements of it I'm old school and I like listening to guitars you know 
that's that's just my own personal preference. But you've got to say. That's really cool. Your fanatics prey on me, hate on me, patiently waiting to watch me breathe. Get your head from out of my ass, got me feeling like a human centipede. <laughs> Always brilliant to see the human centipede referenced in the song. Another great horror movie uh, where they sewed people's faces to other people's arses in a sequence, uh, hoping to nourish the one at the front of the sequence that they may all enjoy the fruits of uh, that. Uh, but then it didn't really work out. And it's a, you should watch the movie. Actually, maybe you shouldn't. I loved it. But it stayed with me. Anyway. I love this flower power kind of um, garb that they're all wearing. Um, acoustic guitars, actual flowers, headbands and draped, um, you know, perfunctory costumes that aren't designed to sort of be figure hugging or anything. It's just, it's what hippies wear, basically. I wonder what they're trying to say with that. <laughs> I love that little bit of uh, uh, when, <coughs> when those rests in between those sort of sections are, are really aggressively cut off, presumably in a Pro Tools or Logic session. It's just, it's so aggressive and just uncompromising. This is the best Bring Me the Horizon thing I've heard. Happy now, guys? Happy? <laughs> I tell you what, that's sometimes how I feel. Just let me suffer. Don't try and pull me out of it. Sit with the pain. This is actually a really good piece of spiritual advice, especially for people who are, you know, perhaps struggling with addictions and things like that. The idea is you, you experience something, it creates an emotion, you've got to sit with that emotion and you have to experience it. You have to process it, face it. That's what, that's what they're saying, I think. I mean, yeah, isn't it? that's got to be it. If there is an overriding sort of self-help message in this ridiculous onslaught, that might be it. Suffer in peace. I've never heard that expression before and I love it. I love it when you hear his sort of the, the, the voice that he uses for melodic stuff when it's exposed like that. Because there was nothing on that at all. I mean, it wasn't even double tracked. There's nothing. It was just that. No accompaniment. And you hear the sort of shred in his voice, but he's actually hitting a note and there's other stuff happening around the vocal cords that's given it that sort of really exciting kind of brokenness to it. And it's, and it's roaring. I mean, that's a, that is a passionate vocal sung by someone who really means what he's saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm inclined to agree. Ollie's kicking ass on this one. I mean, it's so much more emphasis on the guitar elements of this, uh, of the way they arrange their stuff in this song. You know, I think the previous things that I covered, uh, they they were definitely sort of more synthy. There was even sections that I thought sounded a bit like Too Unlimited or something like that. But this is hard. It's fast. It's played so. I mean, that's a really accomplished performance by the drummer. He's kicking ass, and everything's loud and I don't know. It's just like. It's taking my face off. It's brilliant. I mean, I am listening to it pretty loud, but that's what I do. And I love this uh, face in a circle with the, with the sort of purple paint around it. It reminds me of some uh, ornamental plates by Fornacetti that I often buy for my mother on special occasions, like on Mother's Day or her birthday or Christmas. She's amassed quite a collection. And they always have these sort of faces like that. I mean, not as scary as that bloke. Um, but yeah, my mum's favourite. So I think my mum would actually enjoy this video. Also, if you look at the... I suppose it could, could be a crepe with a face in it. Um, or maybe it's like a circular version of the Turin Shroud. <laughs> but whatever it is, it's reminding me of like um, like one of those stickers you get that you put over your nipples, um, you know, if you're playing on the BBC and they don't want you to, you know, encourage folk to write in and complain. It's over. 
Parachinko. Oh, and then this little book of the dead that they find at the end. There's so many brilliant sort of horror references in that video. And I gotta say, it's fucking awesome. This is the best thing I've heard them do. Um, I'm, and I've seen them live since I did my last cover of them. I'm proud to tell you guys who are Bring Me The Horizon uh, enthusiasts. Um, I get it now. I get it. I was wrong. I was wrong before. Awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's just such a brilliant video. Go and watch it and uh, let me know what you think. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to sing you the theme tune. Justin Hawkins writes again. <coughs> and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and watch one of these two videos. And I'll see you guys on the ice. Cheers, everyone. Lots of love to you. Okay.